Yeah, family, um, your cities are still powered using free energy. The so-called Tesla technology, your cities are still powered by that. They're lying to you about all this power plant bullshit. Even the electrical wires and shit you see, they're, med they're made to absorb energy out the air, right out the fucking air. There's Tesla towers, hidden Tesla towers everywhere across your realm. That's how they use, that's how they really get electricity, but then charge you for free energy. Fam, they're not paying for that shit. It's all free energy. It's not nuclear or atomic or none of that, what they claim. Family, it's free energy. Just like the Tesla towers from the old days, all right? And the airplanes. Airplanes aren't running off of gas. Airplanes run off of magnetism and compressed air. Hence the fucking maneuvers you see this plane doing. Ain't no normal plane could do that. Family, planes do this all day. You're looking at UFOs in your face every day. They just cover up the technology, make it look primitive so you just won't know. Charge you for all this gas and all this bullshit when they're running the fucking plane off of magnetism and compressed air. There's no way an airplane that's not floating on magnetic rails could do this. This shit would have been crashed. And you see shit like this every single day, family. What I'm telling you guys is this. All the technology exists. There's nothing new under the sun. We are at the level of Star Trek. They just project a certain aesthetic to you to keep your mind in the gutter. Because when they pop out with all the Project Blue Beam and the aliens and all this, they don't want you knowing all that existed. They want you to be surprised and shocked by it. When the alien brothers come out and offer you all this technology, all this healing technology and blah, 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 if you already know about it, you're not going to be impressed by it. So that's why they keep your mind depraved. That's why the military industrial complex is a thousand years ahead of you. They need your mind depraved and backwards. So when they present you with goofy shit, you'll sell your soul for it. Shit that was already yours from the beginning. You understand? But family, this is what's really chopping. All the technology exists. Your airplanes are fucking UFOs. So don't be shot by blue beam and all this goofy shit. I promise you, go look into compressed air in airplanes and magnetism and you will see what I'm talking about. All the evidence points to what I'm saying. Y'all really believe they be fueling these fucking planes and putting the fuel in the wings? Because supposedly that's where the fuel goes. In the wings. Family's bullshit. Ain't no fuel going in no wings. It's just compressed air. I promise you. And magnetism. Y'all start connecting the dots. We are on new earth right now. We are in new earth right now. And we are way more advanced than what they're letting on. They built pyramids a million years ago, nigga, with technology more advanced than what we're being presented with. So just do the math. We're way, 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 way ahead of what you're being told. All right? So wake up and get the fuck out the cabbage patch and enter new earth. Let's go. Bang, bang. Aye. <laughs> This engine doesn't run off a combustible fluid or gas, but instead runs off the air that we breathe. But before we feed it this air, the air must be compressed, which leads to several differences between this engine and a conventional combustion engine. In terms of power output, a combustion engine can produce its maximum power right up until the fuel tank is empty, whereas the power output of this engine is determined by the pressure stored in the tank which means over time the power will decrease gradually as the engine uses more air and the pressure decreases. One option to get around this is to optimize the engine for a much lower pressure and then run it off a regulator so the pressure into the engine will give a more constant power output throughout the pressure decrease in the tank. When doing these engine tests I use a large compressor tank and have a regulator to adjust the engine pressure. However, because I eventually plan to stick this engine on an aircraft, on an aircraft, on an aircraft, this regulator is far too heavy, 